Hi, you guys. Oh, crooked. What is happening? Oh. Ah. Are you still crooked? My little thing says you're straight. Okay. I am doing this guy today. Hello, I'm Sarah. I always forget to do that bit. So unprofessional. Anyway. Found it on Facebook Marketplace the other day. Finally, a reasonably priced piece of furniture that I can make over is solid wood. It is oak. I'm going to be doing a wash paint combo. Let's get stuck into it. I am going to be keeping the hardware on this one. I may change out the vertical pulls uh, to something else, but we'll see. Have I noticed how sometimes the screws don't go back in where they should? I don't know why, but they do. So to cut down on me losing these and being annoyed, <laughs> this is what I do. And then I throw them in with the rest of the hardware. Not gonna lose those now. I think I'm gonna be using a little bit of wallpaper on this one as well. I have just a small amount of wallpaper left. I'm gonna be doing something different on the top quarter of the dresser. Yeah, I just hope you're all on board for this and you enjoy this makeover. Super windy today. Giving everything a good thorough cleaning. I am using my super clean. It is one part super clean to 16 parts water. Just spray it on and then before it dries, this is important, it's on the instructions. Before it dries, you rinse it off with some clean water and a clean rag. Okay, I just learned this trick. I saw it online. I've cut my tip at a 45. Can you see it? 45 degree angle. Well, so it fits in this angle. I'm going to, it's hard to do it with the camera on you. And now the back here is beveled to fit in there like that. Here we go.
I am using the scraper here because it is long and straight and it's going with the grain. If I use the scraper around the side, it'd be going against the grain and I would gouge into the wood, which I don't want to do. Valspar. It doesn't. It doesn't have a name. It was. It was a custom color. So I've added water to it. It's going over red oak. So anyway, to cancel out the yellow and the orange, the red. I mean, I'm adding a smidge of green. I am using just a sponge that I got online. I think I got it from Amazon. If I did, I'll link it below with everything else that I'm using in this makeover. And I'm just, honestly, just wiping it on. Because I'm using a sponge, I don't need to wipe it off. And I really like the color. I think it's, a, it's uh, gonna complement the bottom three quarters. And I just really like it, so. <laughs> Like I've said in a million of my other videos, <laughs> to get a brush stroke free finish without a roller, because that leaves a different type of texture. If you're just using a brush, you want a good brush and you want to do thin coats, hardly anything on your brush. I feather it out at the top and I go all the way from the top to the bottom and do one finished stroke. Nice, thin strokes. Thin coats, not strokes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let that dry. It says you can repaint in two hours, but um, I don't know what time it is, but I've been out here all day. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna wait and repaint because today is Saturday and I'll repaint, uh, do a second coat on Monday and I'm probably gonna do, end up doing a third coat I've hardly used anything in my can. I've used that much. Anyway, I'm going to let that dry, come back in on Monday, repaint it, paint it, and then probably do a third coat. Quite happy with it. And then I have to decide what I'm doing. Oh no, I just realized I haven't painted that. Um, then I will decide what I'm doing with the wallpaper. Because I still, I think I might just use it as draw liners in the top drawers. 
possibly. I was going to use the the paper on the drawer fronts of just the three inside drawers, but I think it's I think it will look stupid. I'll, I'll have to wait and see. I still possibly could do that, but I'll test it. All right, I'm gonna stop fiddling and I'm gonna pack up and go inside. Second coat on the drawers is just much like first coat. Uh, you want to do thin coats, go around your edges first, and then when you brush, make sure that you're brushing away from the edge. Otherwise, you're going to have paint accumulate on the side. The spray gun that I am using, that I always use with my top coats, is a Wagner Spray Tech. I'm going to link it below, you guys. It's an Amazon affiliate link. You know the drill. If you click on that, uh, it doesn't cost you any more money, but I get a teeny tiny <laughs> little uh, affiliate payment, whatever they call it, with that. Uh, so if you guys are interested in purchasing one, I'm going to link the one that I'm using below.
If you enjoyed this piece, you might like this one. And I hope I see you on the next flip. Bye you guys. Love ya.